gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, Gloria Estefan, and she wants to let y'all know that sometimes you just got to turn it around. What do you say, Gloria? That's Gloria, y'all. She loves to hear compression. Love to hear compression. She loves to hear it. To the nitty gritty. All right, thank you. Cat, cat, y'all. As a matter of fact, Louis Armstrong, I heard an interview where Louis Armstrong, because they said he created the scat. He didn't create the scat. He just said he was doing it as a kid, but he saw that there were older cats who said they did it before him. And he says, whether I created it or not, no, I don't believe I did because there were older cats who said they were doing it and there were other recordings of them doing it. He said, I just did it as a kid when we didn't know the words. We just introduced it. And he talked about one of the songs he did where he introduced the scat. So there you go. You learn something new every day. Hey, Gloria. Thank you, young lady. Gloria Stefan. I'm doing the um, Sheena Easton's Gloria Stefan, especially the Sheena Easton's and Prince's together. And Gloria Stefan, you cannot ignore the fact and impact those two young ladies had on our music in the 1980s. Ladies and gentlemen, here to talk to you about a couple of things. I was talking to the SACOM people last night and I was telling them about our people for mortgages, our people for autos, and our people for student loans. What most people don't know is all student loans in the United States are guaranteed by the United States government. Did you know that? Guaranteed. Why do you think the Supreme Court said it was unlawful for the president to sit up there and forgive? The loans are guaranteed. How can he forgive a guaranteed loan? Shh, don't tell nobody. Okay, so again, you may not understand the decisions being made by this Supreme Court, but I haven't found a decision yet that they have made, including affirmative action. They are right. Affirmative action does violate equal protection of law. Here's the problem. Without affirmative action, individuals have a claim against universities for discrimination for disparity. You see, if it's got to be equal, see, Asians can't claim discrimination. No, 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 no. Sorry, not with affirmative action. See, the problem with affirmative action is they made it towards a particular color, skin tone, a person, instead of making it to where they had to make it equally exclusive for all races. Ah, there you go. Now it's no longer a so-called equal protection issue if they made it equally exclusive okay and equally inclusive that takes care of the problem but you'll never solve it because this is a racist country it has a racist history and it perpetuates racism <laughs> which is what you would hear from morons who want to ignore the history of this country but that's okay. Racism is something that was created. Racism is not something that is ingrained in any individual. Nobody grows up hating people because of their skin color. They grow up being taught to hate people because of their skin color. Go back, pay attention. Kids play together all day long. They don't care what color your skin is. Okay? However, once they are influenced, now they care. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about something that you should know why is the government so 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 interested in education you're hearing it all the time they're so concerned about education yet they're not educating anybody hold on now did you hear what i just said they are so concerned about education that they even have an education department but they are not concerned with educating anyone pay attention china educates its people china educates its people china educates its people but hold on the United States does not. 
yeah, 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 yeah. So what? You you know about history. So what? You know about trivia. That's all they teach you in school. It's trivia. So that you can go on a game show and win a contest because you've answered a question. Yay. Happy, happy. Joy, joy. But you've learned nothing. Because they don't care about your education. They care about education for one thing. Remember, to provide for the general welfare. Ah, to establish justice and domestic tranquility for ourselves and our posterity. Do you know what a posterity is, anyone? We've been talking about the, uh, let's go here for a second, because a lot of people don't know. I, I did it, I talked about it, but let's do P R O. S-T-E-R-I-T-Y. The Constitution says, for ourselves and our prosperity. You see, as I said in the video yesterday, people are thinking that the Constitution doesn't apply to youngsters, teenagers, children, adolescents, infants, even embryos. Now, you see how it did prosperity? I did not say prosperity, I said sterity. Now I know I'm spelling it wrong, but I'm gonna let it correct it. And that's the problem. It does prosperity. Yeah, I know, that ain't, uh-uh. You're gonna give me prosperity. I gotta get the correct spellings, prosperity. Future generation of people. Okay, I, I know I had it right. And it's not the PR, that's where I want, uh, it's posterity, sorry, I apologize. Come on now, give me my mouse, what you doing? Get on out of here. No, we don't want government, because we don't care about government. We don't care about the preamble. It is in the preamble, for ourselves and our posterity. Pay, pay attention, posterity. Posterity is a noun meaning future generation. These people, of the future could be your children, your grandchildren, or any people who are born after you. If you save something for posterity, you're hoping that years later, people will appreciate it. Like a time capsule you bury in the yard. Ladies and gentlemen, when they said for ourselves and our posterity, they were including children. So the constitution was there to protect the children. So children have secured rights under the Constitution. So why do we have family courts where they ignore this? Why do we have in our legal system where they say children don't have constitutionally secured rights? They're correct. Children do not have constitutional rights. They did not lie about that. No one has constitutional rights. The Constitution did not establish a single right, with the exception of the 14th Amendment. The Bill of Rights doesn't establish rights. They protect rights. Now, hold on. Getting back to education. This is why education is so important. Pay attention. Maintenance and education of minors. Allowances for minors. Maintenance and education of minors? What the? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. According to the United States Code of Federal Regulations, Title 31, Section 363.6, under the definition of minors, a minor is an individual who has yet to attain the age of 18 or the age of majority. A minor is also someone who has attained the age of 18, the age of the majority, but has yet to take control of the securities held in their minor account. None of you got control of your securities, so you're still minors. None of you have control of your securities, so you're still minors. Pay attention. Maintenance and education for minors. Allowances for maintenance and education for minors. Whenever such minors are orphans, ladies and gentlemen, every minor, including you, are an orphan. 
No, I'm not. I'm not no I'm a mama and daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing your parents did, the majority of you, is they went to the hospital to give you up. No, no, they didn't give me up in the hospital. Of course. Did they not go to the hospital to make a delivery? Did they not drop off a package? Why well, my mama took me from the hospital. That's right. She took you from the hospital after being given permission to take you from the hospital. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go pull the records and see if she did not sign papers getting permission to take you from the hospital. It's called discharge papers. Does she read those documents? Those contracts? So again, every minor is an orphan because they were abandoned at the hospital. They were born to the sea of mankind. The umbilical cord was cut. That was the thing that was keeping it tethered. And once it was cut, it was lost at sea and nobody came to claim the property. So the property remained abandoned. You don't believe me, just type in maintenance and education, education for minors. This is Penn Law. Now watch this. Hold on now. We're going to right click and watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to open a new tab. We're going to tab it right there. Okay. I want y'all to pay attention because I got less than seven minutes to do this video. So this ain't going to be much longer. We're going to make this bigger so y'all can see it. There has never been any serious doubt. There's never been any serious doubt. 1884. There's never been any serious doubt of the propriety of a decretal order of a court. I'm going to enter a decree. Hold on. Having jurisdiction of the persons and the estate of infants, directing an allowance for a separate estate of minors for their maintenance and education wherever such minors are orphans. This is why they are so concerned, people, about your maintenance and your education. But you see, they're not providing maintenance. I didn't say they were providing maintenance. I said they are concerned about maintenance and education. That's why you always hear them talking about welfare programs and education. But we ain't going to stop there. Let's prove something further to you. The young man's name is Boris. You guys remember Boris. I am some dude. I had a conversation with Boris earlier this year, and he brought about the understanding about this fondling thing. Every state has fondlings. Go ahead. Look at your state. It has fondling laws. What is a fondling? Well, a fondling is a historic term applied to children, usually babies, who have been abandoned by their parents, <laughs> then discovered and cared for by others. That's right. Your parents go to the hospital to make a delivery. Pay attention. It's called the delivery room. Now, pay attention. The recovery room is not for the parents to recover their property that they lost because they never do. They're only allowed, would you like to see the baby, to see this fondling that has been lost at sea. Oh, you guys don't understand. Did they not tell you? that there has never been any serious doubt because they're using the technicality, people. There is a technicality allowing for the separate estate for minors for their maintenance and education. This is what you need to get control over, that infant estate. Boris, I am some dude, is the person who highlighted this information that made it worthwhile knowing. Now, hold on now. Like I said, I got less than three minutes, so I can't sit up here and talk to you about it. State of California, it has a fondling law. State of Texas, state of Georgia, state of New Hampshire, it doesn't matter where you be. It's all about the maintenance, maintenance, and maintenance of these fondlings, these infants. <laughs> okay, every state. See, Texas, fondling sent to Texas. All these fondlings, birth registration handbook, 
talks about fondlings. This is Texas. Pay attention. So once you understand this stuff, you put together your education, then you can start understanding what's going on out there in society, why you are not getting anywhere. Look, we have the program we call the Secure in One's Property Program. That creates what's known as an micro trust. The micro trust, in my opinion, is the best trust that was created by me, <laughs> giving a person a right to control their estate. They are the beneficiary and the trustee, the two most prized positions you need to be. The grantor has no authority over a trust. They only create the trust. So you don't want to be the grantor. I know, I know, I know. You've been told to be the grantor. The grantor is not the power. The trustee and the beneficiary is the power. As long as you understand how to handle those two powers. So we created that program, which is not that expensive. That program, which covers all the things it covers, including teaching you how to get control of your property, especially your automobiles. Okay? How to collateralize your automobiles. That program is offered at SATCOM. SATCOM, 911.com. You just have to click on the link up top and read. That's all you got to do. It's just reading, people. And then if you want to join the program, you click on a stupid link. That's what we're offering. That's what I'm offering. Hey, as long as you knew what was going on. All right. Hey, got to go. Y'all have a good day. Coke and a smile. See y'all in a while. Hey, Gloria. Y'all hear my girl? It. No doubt about it. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the drum. Hey, guys, I gotta go, y'all.